Thank you, Attorney General. Senator Hume. Thank you, Mr. President. My question is to the Minister for Finance, representing the Treasurer, Senator Cormann. Can the Minister please explain why high taxes are bad for growth, for jobs and wages? The Minister for Finance, representing the Treasurer, Senator Cormann. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. I thank Senator Hume uh, for that question. Increasing the overall tax burden uh, in the economy uh, is, uh, it reduces our international competitiveness. It makes, us harder, it makes it harder for us to attract additional investment to strengthen growth and create more jobs. It makes it harder to attract the investment necessary to boost productivity, which is, of course, a, a necessary ingredient. Uh, to uh, increase real wages over time. And, I mean, uh, increasing the overall tax burden uh, in the economy, in particular in the way that the Labour Party is proposing to do, targeting uh, success, uh, targeting uh, aspiration, uh, will lead uh, to worse economic outcomes. There's absolutely no question about that, because it will, and it is designed to make it harder for business to be successful, which means it would make it harder for business uh, to employ more Australians and to pay them uh, better wages. And, uh, Mr. President, I've seen that the uh, Labor Party has been quibbling uh, with uh, the assertions that have been made about the level of additional tax burden that Labor is uh, proposing to impose on the economy. Well, I mean, what we would say to the Labor Party, uh, Mr. President, tell the Australian people. Tell the Australian people. I'll tell you what we say uh, you want to impose in terms of additional tax burden on the Australian economy. You want to increase taxes on small and medium-sized uh, businesses and businesses overall by $65 billion over the next 10 years. We say that you want to increase the tax on housing through your negative gearing changes by $32 billion over the next 10 years. We say that you want to increase uh, taxes on uh, housing through your capital gains tax changes by $13 billion over the next 10 years, and you want to increase taxes on uh, small business in particular uh, through your trust changes by $15 billion over the next 10 years, and you want to increase personal income tax by increasing the top marginal tax right on a permanent basis by $22 billion over the next 10 years, and you want to increase taxes on superannuation by $20 billion over the next 10 years. You tell us which one of these numbers is wrong. More importantly, you tell the Australian Thank you, people. Thank you, Minister. Senator Hume, supplementary question. Thank you, Mr President, and I thank the Minister for his answer. Can he expand for the Senate why it's so important to limit the amount of tax that the government imposes on the economy? Minister. Uh, Mr. President, uh, the government indeed has imposed a limit on ourselves in terms of the uh, tax burden in the economy, and, and all of our revenue forecasts in the budget are based on an assumption that tax as a share of the economy, tax as a share of GDP, will not go past 23.9 per cent. Labor will blow that limit out of the water with disastrous negative consequences for the economy and for jobs. Uh, and, and of course, uh, we had an interjection there from Senator Cameron, Mr. President, that Labor would spend uh, the money better. Well, I mean, that is, of course, exactly what this is all about. Tax more to spend more, uh, and uh, you know, irrespective of the damage that it would do to the Australian economy uh, along, along the way. Uh, we have delivered tax cuts for small and medium-sized business already. We've delivered tax cuts for 3.2 million small and medium-sized businesses, which help them be more successful, more successful small and business, more successful small and medium-sized businesses means more jobs and better wages, and Labor should support the remainder of the tax cuts. Thank you, Minister. Senator Hume, a final supplementary question. Thank you, Mr President. Can the Minister explain how the Turnbull government's plan to reduce taxes is supporting economic growth and the creation of new jobs? Minister. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr President. And, uh, you know, uh, here, here we have you know, the socialist conscience of the Labor Party interjecting again, uh, dismissing our plan for a more competitive business tax rate as trickle-down economics. Well, let me explain it very carefully for the Senate and for the Senator that's just interjected. Helping business be more successful means that they can hire more Australians and pay them better wages. For individual Australians to be the most successful they can be, the businesses that employ them have to be as successful as they possibly can be. Unless, unless we actually ensure that people across Australia have the right incentives to pursue aspiration, to pursue success, we let everybody down. Suggesting that we should pursue a culture of equality means that we will drive uh, the situation for Australians down to the lowest common denominator, to a level of mediocrity. That is what the historical failure of socialism has shown all around the world. We don't want to uh, take Australia down the path of mediocrity Thank and the lowest you, common Minister. denominator. Thank you, Minister. The time for answering the question has expired. Senator Owen 